Welcome to this paper two question about uh, sequences. And um, one of you has asked me to help uh, you with this question, okay? Uh, so this is not my own question. So we give credit to Cambridge exa Examinations for providing us with this question, and we are here together to solve it. Now, what is going on? They're saying the following. Here are the first three terms of a sequence. Term one, which is one to the power of three. Term two, it's one to the power of three plus two to the power of three. And term three is one to the power of three plus two to the power of three plus three to the power of three, okay? And I'm sure you realize that if you uh, would say term uh, four, yeah, so you four would be one to the power of three plus two to the power of three plus three to the power of three plus four to the power of three. Yeah, I'm sure you realize that anyway. They tell me the end of term is given by u to the power uh, u n is one over four times n to the power two times n plus one to the power two. Fantastic! Yeah? We do not have to be able to create this end of term rule for this particular sequence ourselves. Yeah? So that's why they give it to us. Work out, they say, the value of u thirty nine. Okay, so the value of term thirty nine. Now. Let's just, you know, for the fun of it, work out the first three anyway, and then we'll get to that question. Uh, the first one, u1, 1 to the power of 3, so that's 1 times 1 times 1, the value is going to be 1. And for u2, 1 times 1 times 1, that is 1, plus 2 times 2 times 2, 2 times 2 is 2, times 2 is 8, so 8 plus 1, that is going to be 9. Okay, and the value of this one is going to be 9 plus 3 to the power of 3, that is 27. Eh? 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27. And 27 plus 9, that would be 36. Eh? So that would be the values for the first three terms, but they ask me now for term 39. So, considering it's for two points, I'm going to write down some workings. Uh, it's always very useful, yeah, because you get points for it. 1 over 4 times, and I substitute 39 for n in my um, yeah, equation, in my expression, 39 plus 1 to the power 2. Yeah, that's my first point. So I've got a point already for just putting the 39 on the place of n. Now I can work it out, and I'm just going to do that step by step. So I don't make any silly mistakes. So I'm going to do 39 squared on my calculator. That's 1,521 divided by 4. Yeah, so I multiplied it already by 1 over 4. I'm just going to leave it like that. And that's going to be times 40 to the power 2. Yeah, and 40 to the power 2 is 1,600. And if you plug it all correctly in your calculator, so 1,600 times 1,521 divided by 4, or in any other order, if you do it properly, you get uh, this as your answer. Do I write it down correctly? Uh, 608,400. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so that's two points there. So the next question, and this is actually a one point question, so it's not going to be too difficult, eh? so don't worry too much. They say now, here are the first three terms of another sequence. Yeah, 2 to the power of 3, um, 2 to the power of 3 plus 4 to the power of 3, and the third term is 2 to the power of 3 plus 4 to the power of 3 plus 6 to the power of 3. So these are not consecutive numbers anymore, like here, but you could say these are consecutive even numbers, yeah, 2, 4, 6, the next one would be plus 8 to the power of 3. Anyway, by comparing this sequence with the sequence in part A, yeah, find a formula for the nth term of this sequence. And that's for one point, so it's not going to be too difficult. So I have to compare it, yeah. So um, that's why it is nice that I've already written down these values, yeah, 1, 9, 36. I'm going to do the same here, and I'm going to compare them. 2 to the power of 3, 2 times 2 times 2, that is 8, yeah? And as you can see, that would be either 7 more or times 8, yeah? Let's see if there's some sort of pattern. 2 to the power of 3, that is 8, plus 4 to the power of 3, which is 64. And anyway, if you plug this in your calculator, you're going to get 72. So for the second term, it's not plus 7, but 9 times 8, indeed, it's 72. 1 times 8 is 8. Let's see if I get 36 times 8 now for this one, okay? So I plug this in my calculator, which is 72 plus 6 to the power of 3, and I will get 288. And indeed, 
36 times 8 is 288. So my second sequence, each term is 8 times the first sequence. So I will multiply this formula for the nth term by 8. Okay, so it is going to be 8 times a quarter n to the power 2 n plus 1 squared. And if you simplify that, so let's start with vn equals, so that's going to be 2 n squared n plus 1 squared. Okay, hopefully that was useful. Explainingmaths.com for more resources, all for free. You can ask me your question on the forum. You can find me on Facebook and Twitter. I wish you all the best on your exams and for your maths revision. And uh, take care. And like and share this video, guys, if it was useful. Okay, so I can help your friends too. Thank you. Bye-bye.